it's about 9am and I'm back at uh, Cafe by the Ruins uh, just to uh, take stock of my, of my day and uh, to have a coffee because the coffee here was particularly nice and I can't find good coffee anywhere near my hotel. So I spoke to my limousine driver and uh, he wants too much money. So we can't, we can't have the, uh, it wasn't a limousine by the way, it was like a 1980s Toyota Corolla. And I thought the sight gag would be quite funny. <laughs> but we, no, we can't have him, it's too expensive. So, uh, I can still do a lot of those things, but first we're going to have a coffee and then go to the Baguio City Market uh, and have a look around there and then try and something, find something to eat, something sort of breakfasty, brunchy there. Uh, and I'm in, intending to do two vlogs today. Um, and so I won't talk about what the second one is, but it's going to be a, a very, very nice restaurant. Coffee's arrived. Well, oh, it's a nice coffee. I was chatting, texting with Chef Jean last night, Chef Jean Gonzalez, <clears throat> and I told him that the farmer's daughter restaurant uh, was closed when I got there, and they're very vague about when it was opening up again. And he said, you have to go there. It's a, the place to go for really good examples of tribal food. So, I'll try. Well, that was fascinating. This is a really delicious cup of coffee. It's Arabica beans. Uh, and they, they come from Sagada, which is just past Binget, which is apparently about five hours by car from here. And Sagada is a very well-known uh, coffee growing area and I was told they don't roast beans in Sagara. So the beans that have made this coffee were bought at the Baguio City Market where, where we're heading to. When I finish this coffee I'll pay the bill and we'll go straight there. And then there's a whole lot of coffee stalls there, <coughs> excuse me, and we'll have a chat to the people there and uh, I mean I, I, I can't really buy beans because I don't have a machine at home. but. Maybe I should buy something. <laughs> We're on the way to Baguio Market. Let's go for a bit of a walk. So it looks like that's the meat market and then down here is maybe fruit and dry goods. I think it's a bit more complicated than that. like when you get away from motorbikes and cars, all of a sudden, peace. It's a big place. <laughs> it's huge. Lost is an understatement. Oh, you can smell the coffee. Oh, this is Garcia's. So the guy I was talking to, I didn't get it on video, but the guy I was talking to at the Cafe by the Ruins told me about this place and they source their beans from Sagada and then they roast them 
and I suppose grind them for you. And that's where the cafes, I, I think they're supplying a lot of the cafes. Wow, look at this place. Trying to find out their most expensive coffee. You want expensive? Uh, I just want to know what's the most expensive. This one, uh, Sagada Arabica. Oh, that's this Arabica medium Sagada yeah, Arabica it's medium. Yeah, a dark. It's a dark. I this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and how much is that for a kilo? Three, three eighty. Three eighty. Yeah, it's still three eighty. Three hundred. Three hundred and eighty for a kilo. Three hundred eighty per kilo. Can I have half a kilo? Sure. You want it beans or you want it ground? I'll have it uh, just beans. I won't have it ground, just beans, please. 500 grams. 500 grams. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, those beans look so good. So, I've got my chit and I'm just waiting. And waiting for my change. 190 pesos. That seems like a very good price for really, really good beans. And I'm assuming that these dark Arabica um, beans that, that I'm buying uh, were the ones that were used at Cafe by the Ruins for the coffee that I just had, which was absolutely delicious. Okay, there's my change. And this is your coffee. Coffee. Just put this in my pocket. Half a kilo. Half a kilo of the finest Arabica beans in the Philippines. Oh, the flower section's down here. like blue daffodils. Are they blue daffodils? Yeah, sir. Blue? Yeah. How it's did you do that? Said, sir. Yep. We soak it in a uh, food color. <laughs> the wow. original color is white. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, the daffodils are soaked in Dan food coloring. We can make uh, yellow like that, red. Yeah. Thank you. Who would have thought? I would have believed, without a doubt, that they were blue daffodils. And I would have gone around the world saying to people, oh, in the Philippines, they've got blue daffodils. Local red rice. Yes. Yeah. Local red rice. Local rice. And organic rice. Uh, organic mountain rice. <coughs> What's the difference between the, the mountain? Oh, that's brown rice. That's red rice. Uh, different variety lang po, sir. Different variety lang. But it's all. It's this is this lang. local? All local? From Baguio? Yeah, 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 yeah. Or from Baguio? Bingit rice. Bingit rice. I've heard about the local, the local red rice. But I, I'm not going back to Manila after this. I'm keeping going. And my bags are full. I, I just can't buy... I just can't be lugging too much around with me. But I'd like to get some red rice. But I don't know. Oh, the smell is delightful. <laughs> Organic seems to be a bit of a thing. Oh, it's a big market. I reckon I can see 
half a kilometre down this aisle. Oh, we've just moved into dry goods. Got a tail there and a stomach, and a small tail. This is where Wallastic Pares shops. <laughs> All right, down to the fish section. It's sort of like a combination of fish and meat. Is it any wonder it's called Tao? Beef towel. Towel, yeah. Who has Mata? Mata? Mata. Ice? Yeah. Up here. Up here. Let's see if we can find some eyes. How much per kilo? Philippine monkey, sir? You have Mata? Philippine monkey? Philippine monkey. Down here. What? Where's the Philippine monkey? <laughs> I think they're having a joke with me. <laughs> I thought they were serious. You can see it. That's a lot of chicken's feet. Oh, this is like a delicatessen. <laughs> oh, that guy said Filipino monkey. And I thought, what? They've got monkeys here. But it's a, a joke. It's like in Australia when we say to tourists, watch out for drop bears. And we tell tourists that the koalas will drop out of the trees and attack them. <laughs> we think that's so funny. Here it's Filipino monkey. Oh, it's a big market. I'm hungry. I'll go back into the market. Oh. Uh, restaurant there, small Thank restaurant. You. Thank you. Apparently there's restaurants down here. Food stalls perhaps. Oh, they love stairs in Baguio. I'm starting to walk around in circles. I think we might head out of the market and try to find something to eat. Well, this is the fish section. So mussels, 70 pesos for half a kilo. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, this is pretty reasonably priced.
we're out of the market and heading somewhere. I'm running out of battery. All right, I'm out of time. I have to get back to my hotel and put this footage onto a timeline uh, and grab some takeaway or something, something very small because I've got to make it for lunch to my luncheon destination, which is a little way away. Uh, and thank you so much to everybody who's been sending me suggestions. I've got so many suggestions, there is just no possible way I can do everything in the four days that I've allotted. And unfortunately too, you can't just extend your stay. Because normally I would. I'd just book another three nights at the hotel. But I can't. You can only stay for the period of time that you have the, the permission for. Uh, so there'll have to be a part two. I'll have to come back here uh, sometime and finish it off. But still, I've got another two days and I've got the rest of today. So, take care.